There were hundreds of men imprisoned here, but a woman was sent up this day. The scene in front of them made everyone very excited, but soon they found a note in the woman's hand. After opening it, it was written that this was the last one. This also meant that no one would be sent up this passage again. It turned out that these people were imprisoned in a movable maze. In the early morning, the door would slowly open, and everyone could go out to find a way out, but they had been running for three whole years. The exit to the outside world could never be found. At dusk, the gate would close automatically, and the roar of monsters could be heard from the outside of the maze from time to time. In order to ensure the normal life of the people in the maze, the runner was responsible for going out to find a way out, and the other people grew crops to make a living. Due to accidents, some people may die. The mysterious passage in the maze sends one person up every month, and everyone who comes here has their memory cleared. Thomas was terrified when he came here on the first day. He began to run desperately. He could not see the surrounding environment until he fell down. The city wall that was hundreds of meters high amazed him. However, the only exit here is the gap in front. Then the captain Lao Hei. He began to inquire about the situation on the other side of the passage, but he had no idea how to ask. Lao Hei never told him the secret inside, and said that no one could enter that passage without his permission. Lao Hei's words completely aroused Thomas's curiosity, but just when he was about to go and check it out, the kind-hearted Xiao Pang suddenly stopped him. However, at this moment, two men ran out of the passage. Thomas was very confused when he saw this scene. Xiao Pang said that the two of them were the runners here, responsible for finding a way out of the maze. Thomas, who was not giving up, still wanted to go in to see what was going on. Just as he slowly approached the stone door, he was suddenly pushed to the ground by a bully. Xiao Shuai was instantly furious and was about to have a big fight with him, but at this moment, behind him. There was a terrifying sound behind him, and everyone's face was solemn, and even their breathing became cautious. Then there was a strong wind in the passage, and the maze slowly closed. But before he could come to his senses, something strange happened again. When he was collecting fertilizer in the grove, the traveler Zalbin appeared in front of Xiaoxie, staring at him with fierce eyes, and then began to attack Xiaoxie like crazy. At the critical moment, Xiaoxie picked up a piece of bone and knocked Zalbin down, then got up and ran out of the woods. But before he ran far, Xiaoxie was thrown to the ground again. Fortunately, with the help of his companions, Zalbin was controlled in time, but this was not over yet. When they lifted Zalbin's clothes, they found the wounds stung by the monster, and several people exchanged with each other. He changed his eyes, and then took Xiao Ben to the entrance of the maze. Everyone picked up the pole, and before the maze door closed, they forced Xiao Ben into the maze. This series of strange things made Xiao Shuai fall into deep doubts. Who sent him here? What unspeakable secrets are hidden in the maze? Unfortunately, Xiao Shuai lost his memory. Except for hearing his own name in his dreams, he couldn't remember anything. The next morning, Xiao Shuai saw two companions enter the maze again, but everyone kept silent about it. They just stood quietly at the door, praying that the two could come back alive. Time passed little by little, and the two hadn't come out yet. Just as the maze door was about to close, Nino hurriedly dragged the injured Lao He. When they arrived, Lao He had lost the ability to move. Xiao Shuai saw that the situation was urgent and that if they didn't do something, both of them would surely die. So he mustered up the courage to break into the maze. Seeing that Lao He had been unconscious, the two had to tie Lao He up with vines, intending to hang him in the air, so that at least he could ensure his safety. However, the appearance of a monster made the two of them panic. Nino ran for his life, and Xiao Shuai quickly hid in the corner of a tree and waited until the monster left before he came out to fix the vines. After settling Lao He, Xiao Shuai planned to meet up with Nino, but after just a few steps, strange mucus suddenly appeared on the soles of his feet. There was a monster lurking above his head. Xiao Shuai ran around in the maze, but accidentally rushed into a dead end. Xiao Shuai had to climb to the top of the maze along the vines. But after climbing a few steps, he had nowhere to retreat. At the critical moment, Xiao Shuai jumped up and grabbed the vines tightly, temporarily pulling away from the monster. But the next second, the monster pounced from behind, and the man and the monster slid to the ground at the same time. Fortunately, the monster was entangled by the vines, and Xiao Shuai was spared. Nino also rushed over at this time, and the maze was slowly closing. The two ran to the exit quickly and could have escaped directly from the maze, but Xiao Shuai suddenly stopped. He deliberately waited for a while, and the monster was finally lured to death by the stone door at the exit by Xiao Shuai. The two dragged the injured Lao He out of the maze. This was the first time they defeated a monster in the past three years, and Xiao Shuai also won the respect of his friends. Except for Gary, who had been targeting him, he thought that he had lived in peace with the monster for three years. Now Xiao Shuai broke this rule. Gary was worried that the monster would retaliate, so he planned to punish Xiao Shuai. But at this moment, the sound of the elevator rising came from outside the door. This time, a girl was sent up, holding a note in her hand, which said that she was the last person, and the girl shouted Xiao Shuai's name as soon as she opened her eyes, and then fainted again. 
Xiao Shuai asked with a look on his face. Good. In order to uncover the truth of the matter, he returned to the maze with his friends and found the monster that was trapped to death. Just in case, several people decomposed the monster's body and found something flashing red inside the monster. Mino tore open the outer skin and found an electronic device inside, indicating that someone was controlling the monster. With this clue, Xiao Shuai suggested going deeper into the maze to find out the secrets behind the maze. Mino agreed after hearing this, and then took Xiao Shuai to his secret base. There is a wooden house here, but there is only a round table covered with white cloth in the huge wooden house. Then he lifted it up, and underneath was the layout of the entire maze. This is the result of the three years of work of the running men. In this process, I don't know how many companions were sacrificed. The entire maze is divided into eight areas. Every night when the maze layout changes, a new area will be reopened in the order of 64,837,152. Yesterday, the sixth area was opened, but why did the monster in the seventh area suddenly appear there? In order to find out, the two decided to set out to the maze again. Soon they came to the seventh area. With this doubt, the two came to a place similar to a blade array. Going deeper, they found the clothes of the man who was expelled before. At this moment, the detector in the backpack suddenly made a sound, as if it was pointing in a certain direction. Then, they followed the guidance of the detector and came to a mysterious place. The runners had never been here before. It seemed to be inside a maze. Just when the two walked to the end and thought there was no way out, the red light of the detector suddenly turned green. Then the next second, the stone door here suddenly opened, and there was a circular passage inside. Out of curiosity, they stepped forward to look and found that there was still monster mucus on the wall. It seemed that these guys came from here, ran out of the passage. At this moment, a red laser shot out from the passage. When it scanned the detector, a strange noise was instantly heard from inside. The two immediately realized that something was wrong and evacuated quickly. When they came out of the passage, the blade array outside was closing rapidly. Fortunately, the reputation of the running man is not exaggerated. They successfully escaped before the blade array was completely closed, but everything is not over yet. The ground of the maze suddenly began to change again, constantly turning over, as if some mechanism was triggered. The exit also began to slowly close at this time. They hurriedly got in, and finally the two of them managed to climb out at the last second. After coming out, the Asians immediately told everyone the good news. They found a new, except for the yellow-haired guy, everyone else was very happy after hearing this. He quarreled with Thomas again because of a disagreement, thinking that the other party was destroying the rules of survival here. At this moment, the girl from before woke up. Facing a group of opposite sex, she seemed very scared and kept throwing things to drive them away. But when she heard Thomas's voice, she became quiet again which made the yellow-haired guy next to her even more unhappy. After a long period of explanation from him, the girl finally let down her guard. Both of them felt an inexplicable sense of familiarity between them, as if they had known each other before. Then the other party took out three tubes of potion from his pocket, which seemed to be an antidote. So Thomas immediately decided to use it on Xiao Hei. He had been injured by the monster before. He remained unconscious. Everyone understood that the only way to deal with the situation was to try to save him. Just as he was about to inject the drug, he suddenly woke up and became extremely violent. The deputy captain quickly held him down, and the girl next to him took the opportunity to inject the antidote. Unexpectedly, it really worked, but it still needed to be observed whether it worked. When everyone went to check on him the next day, they found that he had already sat up and seemed to have recovered his memory. I shot him flat. After hearing what Xiao Hei said, everyone was shocked. Sure enough, Thomas was related to this maze. At this moment, there was a noise outside. Everyone hurried out to check and found that the passage that should have been closed was still open. Not only that, other passages also began to open at this time. This was a sign that had never happened before. Although they didn't know what this meant, they all sensed something was wrong and hurried back to get their weapons.